Do you ever think about where your food comes from? We're hoping to find some geese. Plan is to see if we can find a goose and sneak up on it and maybe bring a goose home for supper tonight. <laughs> my name is Dylan and I'm a hunter. And I got my crew here, it's my wife Mickey and Jenny P, one of my hunting partners. Yay, found your buck. What a beauty. Hunting is often misunderstood. My name is Karen and I moved to Canada from Israel for one year of student exchange. I wanted the proper North American experience of parties, living with roommates, hiking, skiing and having the best time of my life. I want to understand this huge, beautiful and peaceful country. In this video, I want to break every stereotype you have about hunting, using guns or eating meat. Is it chasing the adrenaline rush of the hunt and getting the animal? Or a passion for making food and sharing it with your community? So I searched on Google Hunters around Vancouver, saw Dylan's website and a couple of emails later, I'm on a ferry to the Sunshine Coast to hunt gooses. Dylan and his wife Mickey cook meals, host friends, and go to hunting adventures together. I manage provincial parks for a living. Outside of that, I have a project called Eat Wild. We make our like classic gut gutting. I've got a couple techniques for how I'm gonna move this year. Where I teach folks how to hunt and gather wild food. That's been a passion project you know, that I've been doing for the past 10 or so years. And I was kind of an odd kid because we spent our families, we would spend our weekends and holidays fishing or hunting and gathering wild food together. My father was an amazing cook. That's my dad there, yeah. His whole effort in the fall was to shoot a moose, so you have a moose in his freezer, cook for people, and host amazing meals. You know, I, I replicate that with my friends now. This is bare ribs, so we're gonna slow cook these. And You wake up in the morning, and the first question I ask my, my wife, Mickey, is like, well, what are we having for dinner tonight? So this is our little crawl space where we had to put our freezers. Be very careful coming up here. This is our freezer space and storage room. This is deer, some big deer roast, we make sausages. This is from our bear from a couple from last year. This is sheep meat menu tonight. Uh, we're gonna do that elk in meatballs. We hiked into a valley, hunted for three or four days, and then shot this elk. It was a gigantic elk, and so it probably weighs like 500 pounds um, of meat. Every day we create our own food. What yeah. hunting means to you? Why it's so important? A need to be a little bit more connected with where your food comes from, and I think that people are coming to that that reality and that thought process because of these things about like seeing the price of food increase or you're getting exposed to how animals are treated in the factory and farm systems. I think people are wanting to make different decisions around where their food comes from and how hunting can be an alternative to say buying your meat at the grocery store. Most people don't even notice that. They don't even notice the cost of their food. They don't really know and they don't think about where it's from and what the supply chain is to get to your to your plate. And salt and pepper. That's a lazy person. I was gonna make meatballs and fry them up, but I made our, our meat mix a bit too wet. So it's gonna be much easier to turn it into a meatloaf. I'm also committed to ensuring that those animals are there for future generations of society to thrive and coexist with these animals, which, which includes harvesting them. The whole reality of killing something is just, just a small part of it. And I don't get off on it. I don't get excited about killing things. It's part of the, you know, it's part of it, but there's just so much more emotion that comes with it, you know? For many of us, guns are an implement of violence for a lot of people. Like, I have personal experience with gun violence in my family. Um, it's not something that I think should be celebrated. It's a tool that I use, and I, I respectfully use it to um, harvest animals, but I don't think it's something that we should, we should celebrate as a society given the impact that firearms have on so many people. So. In Israel, we eat kosher food. We have certain types of meats that are not kosher according to Judaism. So I never tasted deers, elks, black bears meat, or even oysters. Okay, I'm trying my first oyster. Try one. So the trick with these though is to point them so that you can like slip them out. And so you gotta point them towards you so you can slip them out and they're fat. It feels a bit like cucumber. Cheers! 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 Okay, this is your first elk. Whoa. Wow! Elk Whoa! <laughs> this is very good. I think that a lot of people, when they think about images of hunting, they don't think about people sitting around a dinner table and sharing a meal together as the outcome of a hunt. Mickey moved to Canada from Romania, and she has an interesting story about what led her to go into hunting. I never expected that there will be a table with two women that hunt in it. <laughs> that was the surprise. I had started 
looking into where my food comes from and I watched yeah like all of the uh, meat industry videos that are available on the internet and I was horrified and I wanted to diminish the pain I inflict on other beings on this earth um, so I was considering becoming a vegan or vegetarian and around the same time in 2019 I heard about hunting and there were a lot of misconceptions about hunting that I held from from Romania just um, heartless people killing animals once I started looking into it and learning about it I realized it can be a very safe and ethical pursuit and I think that there are a lot of vegans and vegetarians out there who actually appreciate what you do and the fact that this is this is an ethical way to to exist how you making sure that the animal is not suffering mm. and you make it like quick as possible mm -hmm. so you want to shoot the vital organs so that the animal doesn't um, walk away wounded and and then dies off in the forest. In the morning, we were about to take the boat, go to hunt gooses and catch some prawns and oysters. It'll stop raining. So this is our home. We have uh, lots of stories and antlers on the wall, remembering some of the adventures we've had. And there's a white-tailed deer. In recent years, we've um, got a couple bears. This is a beautiful way to connect with the bear. This is a stone sheep. My wife's Mickey's. This is her first uh, mule deer buck. Goose season open today. Goose, like an ear is coming. So we take the boat to a little islet. The geese seem to live on top of these little islets or around them. You seen something? Yeah, geese. Right on the other side of those rocks there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I see them. So you want to shoot at their heads. When you're looking down, you, you want to just see the red dot. You don't want to see any of the top of the barrel. Yeah. So just when that green light thing is on its head, just pull the trigger and shoot both barrels. So what we have to do is put you on a spot that you can stay out of view of them until yeah. you can peek up and over the rocks and shoot them. I think that was a miss. This attempt didn't work, so Dylan brought up another plan. This time, Jenny took a blow-up raft. Well, there's goose around the corner there now. Because you shot way late. This attempt didn't work as well. However, we had an awesome day. We saw sea dogs, caught prawns, and saw this cute guy. Hi, hello. We're gonna release this little guy. Bye. <laughs> well, we had unbelievable conditions to get the boat around. As far as the hunt goes, I think we did. We had an idea of how we might find some geese and how we might be able to put together a hunt if we were to you know, try and kill a goose. And, and we had, I think, three pretty good opportunities and, and unfortunately didn't come together. But what's cool about it is like, I'm, I'm excited to go again, right? I, I wanna do it again. And, and to me, that's a successful hunt when you're inspired to get back out there. You've learned something, you've proven the theory correctly. Cameron, wake the fuck up. You cannot lie on the couch all day and expect to do Leave something. Leave me alone. I'm depressed. Leave me alone. Tell them all what the content creators say in the middle of the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and like me on TikTok. It will help my community grow.